Hello and welcome back to Adam with Bong, our troll barbarian here. Um, yeah, so I said I was going to Dwarf Town to sell the corpse of the Master Summoner, but something interesting happened on the way. I found some worn boots right here. And if you look at the picture, there are small wings on the boots, and these are seven league boots. Haha. <laughs> okay, they're cursed, but that's. Well, screw it, I'm gonna. Uh, no. Dip the seven league boots into holy water so they are blessed. Excellent. I do lose a bit of PV though, but. I should be able to do something about that at least. Um, uh, stupid. Read. Do we have scrolls of protection, defense? No. Uh, maybe down in Dwarf Town. Oh, there's a. Scroll of protection, right there. Let's actually use it right away. Um, I'm gonna. I'll just well unequip everything. The cloak. <clears throat> Don't think skull crusher will be affected, but shield bracers. Eh. <laughs> Now read plus twelve protection, and the seven league boots are now plus one plus two. Nice. We're gonna be really fast now. Seven league boots. Um. Anyway, turnium cap. I know free action. Blue. Uh, it Turnium girdle. There we go. Uh, what's this warm cloak? Cloak of adornment. Eh. Let's see here. We also have got ourselves a new corruption. So all this running up and down the Counts of Chaos is not a good thing. Uh, we should probably do some curing of some curing of the stuff. <laughs> uh, cure corruption. Good lord. Where is my brain? Hmm. Okay, well, no, this is... Oh, oh God. Just a free action. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. Wow. Let's get down to Dwarf Town. And... You know... Which will be very soon. Here we are. Alright. Drop the Master Summoner Corpse. The food preservation skill is really uh, useful. Mm, anything else I want to sell? Yeah, the cloak of crap. Yeah, the new corruption. You are attached to chaos, corrupting your foes. Uh, which means our attack will corrupt um, enemies. And I don't think that's actually a really good thing to have. Because it can turn them enemies into like these chaotic uh, mutant monster things. Um... 
Also, since we have three corruptions, that does something to our stats. It lowers our willpower by one and increases other skills by one. So, well, the pluses are, of course, fairly okay. Well, they're good, obviously. Um, Let's drop off various crap here. Get one of these we don't really need to carry around the crown of science or the black dragon scale mail. Uh, I have so much money I don't really bother up. <laughs> not really too bothered with selling stuff either. Let's just uh So how many? Oh, oh Lord! Uh, I'll take a bow so we can shoot arrows if we should ever need it. Um, I guess the heavy crossbow is better than the light in any case. So yeah. Um, this book I'll drop. Lots of rations we should eat. All the money, good lord. Uh, yeah, I'll drop them both. Let's just sacrifice some money here. Eighteen thousand six hundred and ninety-seven. Yes, it still favors me greatly. Um. Let's get some more Morgia, just for trying to get our willpower up and um. have any cure corruption? Yeah, we have potions of cure corruption here. I think I might even bless them. Yeah, let's uh, see. We'll dip cure corruption into holy water. And I'll drink one of those. Feel cleansed, less attached to chaos. We still have the stilty legs, though. But I guess we can live with that, <clears throat> especially since it stacks with uh, seven leg boots. Yeah, it takes us 500 energy points. That means we are twice as fast as normal, because I think the normal is 1000 energy points for one uh, movement, for one action. That's pretty good, to be honest. Alright, yeah, quick break there in real life, and my god, I'm wasting so much time. But, well... I want to be well prepared for what's coming, so... Well, um, yeah, so I guess we're just gonna have to keep on going down into... the last part of the Caverns of Chaos, so... Uh, I'll go back <coughs> down there through the... Uh, the shortcut, and I'll post recording so you don't have to... Watch everything, and I'll, you know, I'll start up the recording if anything interesting should happen, but if nothing interesting happens, we'll meet again down in the D39 or somewhere. But it is Troll Corps, by the way. Uh, no more regen bonus. Okay. See you soon. 
And here we are finally. <clears throat> Dungeon level 39. The uh, blah. Huh? Uh I don't know. <laughs> what? No! That's not what I meant. Well, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know. I think there was a monster memory thing I kind of activated somehow. Um. At what do you want to remember prompt, but uh, not sure how I did that. So anyway, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a fairly normal dungeon level. This one, nothing exciting or. Yeah, I have this this quest, you know, but I don't remember what the first monster I killed was. So, <laughs> pretty sure it was a goblin or something like that. So, I'll take the booze. The healing potion is just too weak for this part of the game. Anyway, uh, 28 stone metal cap. That's an Eternium cap. Uh, might be good. Who knows? Die, Frost Giant. Eat, Frost Giant. Yum yum. Go down, dungeon level 40. There's a stair leading upwards. Nothing special. Alright, so we're gonna have to get through here as well. Mm, Werewolf King. Okay, I'm just... Pounding him. A tower shield. What's my shield? It's a tower crystal shield. 260 stone. This one's 120. So, what's that made of? And uh, yeah, I'll just try it out. I can't keep. Running to an altar, all the town tower mithril shield, and it's cursed, of course. <laughs> well, I so rarely do this, but of course it's cursed when I. Uh, crap. Do we have many cursed items in general here? Yeah. Oh. But we should have. We have five scrolls of uncursing, alright, so let's dip all the uncursing scrolls into holy water. And I'll read a blessed scroll of uncursing. That should uncurse everything we own, yeah. Get back to the tower crystal shield there. Just drop this one <clears throat> just have a look here now nothing should be cursed yeah that's good that is good wow real slaying yet another you sense a soul in agony. Oh, what's that? What's that message? Undead, probably? Oh, look. Uh... Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> Female Chaos Wizard. Berserker Emperor. A greater Moloch. <gasps> oh, God. 
Okay, can we deal with this? That's the question. A greater Moloch. I'm not sure if I even fought one of those before. Let's see what we can do here. How can I miss? Look at this guy. A DV of 60. That explains it. Rah! Berserk! There we go. Now, this guy. <laughs> We'll be up. We can outrun it easily, but let's see if we can shoot him. Ah, nice. You hit, do not harm him. I'll get a lots of experience points. Well, that's the. The downside of being fast in this game is actually that um, you get more experience points if you are slower than whatever you kill, and less if you are faster. So, okay, how do we do in melee against the Greater Moloch? So far, so good. Okay. Ow! Oh lord, he did a lot of damage. Ah, run! The fuck away! <laughs> <clears throat> oh lord, yeah, he was. He could hit hard. Well, okay, what do we do about that? Um. Well, as usual, I had to look it up, <clears throat> or look up greater Molochs, and while well, they are demonic humanoids, so Skull Crusher is good, and demonic, or demon slaying ammunition would be uh, uh, good, for example, these blessed quarrels here, if we can manage to stay at a distance, while well, we regen so fast. That's good. Let's eat some a couple of other petals and um, walk all the way so that we regenerate. We can, I guess we can check out this area. Okay, it's downstairs. Uh, if we manage to stay out of melee with the Moloch, it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. <gasps> there it is. Yes, okay. Let's see how the demon slayers do. Exactly it. Do not manage to harm it. <laughs> really? <sighs> okay, good. Oh, it's bleeding. I'm losing the quarrels, a lot of them. Out of ammunition? No. Um, you have the humanoid slayers, arrows of demon slaying. Okay. Yay, he's poisoned. Uh, no, no, yes. Come on. Um, quit. Thunderstroke. Come here. Don't teleport away. Ok, 
Okay. Come here. There we go. Yes. Critical injured. Did it return? Yeah. He was poisoned. Oh, now it didn't return, of course. <sighs> Anything else that could work? I guess I can take one hit in melee. I don't think he can. One. Well, I don't know, maybe if he gets a critical hit. Maybe he can kill me with one hit. Um. Okay, so Molochs are immune to fire and cold, but I think I have some other possible world of acid. Yes! Woohoo! 200,000 XP just for the Moloch. Excellent, and we are level 21. Five skills improved now. Nice. Um, there are almost no skills I want and the ones I want. Like literacy, literacy or uh, you know, just get one increase there. Um, I guess tactics is good. But it's just one point increase. Uh, first aid. Never wrong. Um, mining and smithing. Well, it could be fun to play around with those, but I don't know. Woodcraft. Two weapon combat. I doubt we. Well, you never know. Let's put some points into two weapon combat. And two more Ugh. first aid and literacy. And we get a new talent, all right. So, yeah, I've been going this route, so we hit and damage. More with heavy weapons, and Skull Crusher is a heavy weapon. So, yeah, let's just continue with that for now. Your looks improve. Ooh, appearance three. And there's a greater, mo no, a hulking armor. Yeah, 15,000 stones. <laughs> oh, no corpse, sadly, though. No. <clears throat> uh, eating a greater Moloch corpse will do good things for your stats, I've read. So. But anyway, we killed a greater Moloch. That's good stuff. Uh, let's see, normal mode? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's a. It's an annihilator. Can annihilate items, I think. A red dragon scale mail. Finally, <laughs> I did the Tower of Eternal Flames without one, which was okay because I had enough sources for assistance. But you know, it would have been very useful then. Okay, the rest here is no problem. Unknown scroll. Hmm. Eat the bat and the lizard. And do you want the plate mail? It's only 240 stone. That could be a very good plate mail, I think. I'll take it with me. Yeah, we will 
so for blessed identify scrolls so I guess we'll identify our equipment at some point let's just use the teleport trap here to get to the downstairs and kill the chaos plague bearer and we go down and nothing special okay <laughs> yes Dungeon level 41 in this. Or Black Slayer, come on. Good. One of the fireballs, sure. Sure thing. swords so okay I think that was <coughs> all of this level <laughs> that's quick <gasps> what was that message there seems to be a shifting breeze in this room in this room okay um, I think that's just the room You hear a grinding sound in the distance. What's grinding? What is... Ooh, potion of ultra-healing. Excellent. I sense a certain tension, so there's a... Tension room. There it is. Some stuff. Ow! I'm bleeding. Lord. First aid. Yes. What's attacking my mind? Okay, so... Uh, let's see what we actually have here. Berserker Emperor experienced. Ghoul Hill Giant. A writhing mass of primal chaos. Berserker Prince. Least Demon. Oh shit, I'm confused. Why? Okay, it's... Oh, there's a lich. Okay, let's, um... Mental stability, that's confusion resistance, right? Pretty sure it is. But we're not immune to the confusion, so, you know. Die! There we go. Now you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Uh. Fluff ball. <laughs> Greater fire elemental, okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, what do we eat? Let's eat this hell giant. And, uh... Okay. Whoops. I got a random teleport there and. <laughs> And didn't really notice, so I... Arch Hammer. Greater Water Elemental. Okay. 
Blah, blah. Just uh, dig our way through here. So we don't have to walk all the way around. Um, well, I guess that's it for this level. Could there be a secret room here? Maybe. Yeah. Hard to say. Search a little bit, but eh, probably not. No, let's go down. You feel excited. Woohoo! Well, that means that there is a lesser vault on this level. Um, do we have lots of monster detection ones? Also, creation for monster detection there. Uh, and four more. Probably, or is it? It's not the same one, is it? No. Um, okay, yeah, so we have lots of monster detection. Um, but this episode is at about half an hour now, and um, doing this vault and all that will probably take quite a bit of time. So, so I'm gonna end it here. Next time, I'll uh, use the wand of. Well, why? Might as well do it now. Let's use uh, monster detection here. Oh my lord! It's a vault full of fire dragons and some kind of chaos dude. And a hydra. Maybe. No, is that a hydra? Maybe. Mm. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, that's good to know before we dive into it. So, um, there's no other monsters except this lizard man. Well, I guess next time we will have to fight these dragons. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's going to be fun. Well, thank you for watching and um, join me again next time when we take on this vault. <clears throat> They're probably going to be very experienced as well, you know, since it's at this dungeon level. Okay. Um... Well, until next time, take care. Um.